Back here in studio, the Earth Rangers joining us. Julia, Sam are here, and of course Maverick, who we met right before the break. Uh, before we get introduced to the critters, uh, Julia, start us off. Tell us about the Earth Rangers concept and uh, what the message is with some of the schools. So Earth Rangers is the kids' conservation organization. We provide children with the tools that they can use to help animals all over the country and all over the world. Okay, so we're going to showcase a few, and uh, today, starting us off, is Maverick. And Sam, tell us about Maverick, because I was saying, so small, this is the full size for Maverick. Yeah, so Maverick is called an American Kestrel and they're the smallest species of falcon that we have here in North America. So he is absolutely completely full grown and he is one of our animal ambassadors. So he goes to schools, he flies right over the kids' heads and he teaches them all about conservation and how the kids can get involved through our Bring Back the Wild program. Now how big was Maverick uh, upon birth because that, that's not a huge size right now at, at full growth. Yeah, he was just a little bit smaller, maybe about a third smaller, but they grew really quickly during their first month. So, you know, he's completely full grown. He weighs, he weighs about a hundred pounds actually sorry a hundred uh, grams so he's yeah. really really small um, so that's that's Maverick absolutely and what's the diet with Maverick well they're carnivores so they like to eat things like meat so mice rats uh, chicken <laughs> whatever they can really find but they'll also eat insects as well so they're pretty fantastic hunters and they have an amazing sense of sight and quirks when it comes to you caring for for someone like Maverick well he, he is a wild bird so like all wild animals we do have to respect them and understand them but we have worked with them since he was a baby but so he's pretty well well handled and well introduced so he does really well so during the school shows we talk to the kids about um, just what they can do how they can get involved to help protect wildlife like Maverick here so he's a fantastic tie-in to our Bring Back the Wild program. I can see why kids would love this if he's flying all around the assembly room okay so thank you Maverick. Maverick can take five. Uh, Julia's got our next one. Oh hello! So this here is Crimson and Crimson is a red tegu. So she is just a very large lizard. She comes from South America. Yeah. And she is also one of our wonderful animal ambassadors that helps us inspire children to take care of our environment. I'm looking at this tongue right now. Now, I mean, we, we can't touch it. Only professionals can touch it. What are these, uh, some of the things we need to consider for care with the tegu lizards? So again, they are pretty hard to take care of and only like we are, um, very, like highly trained in taking care of the animals. Um, and as I said, she is one of our wonderful animal ambassadors that helps us inspire kids. In fact, um, in April, we are starting an exciting new campaign called Earth Month is for the Animals. And what we're doing is anytime a child starts a new Bring Back the Wild fundraising campaign, we are matching that and helping animals all the way over in Africa. So animals like Crimson can help children ins or inspire children to help animals, not just in Canada, but all over the world. And what do you find is the most commonly asked question from kids when they get to, to meet these critters and, and learn about habitat and the conservation message? What are they most interested in? So we do get quite a, a wide variety of questions, but one of the most common ones is how they can help them because seeing them um, in like in real life gets kids really excited and they really want to know how they can get involved with animals themselves. And you're bringing the message to the schools. Okay, thank you. And I think we have one last one. Oh, gorgeous owl. Okay, Sam, tell us about All this right. one. All right, so this is Echo. And once again, he is one of our animal ambassadors. So Echo is called a European barn owl. We do have barn owls right here in Canada as well. They're just a little bit larger and a little bit of a darker color than these guys are. Um, but they're a wonderful tie into the message of our conservation project. So we choose four animals every year um, right here in Canada that are endangered and uh, one of the ones uh, this year in British Columbia is the Western Screech Owl. We think there's only about 200 of them left but a lot of research has to be done so he is an inspiration to all the kids that absolutely love birds and love owls to kind of get that message out so it's lovely to be able to get to schools and we visit over 600 schools a year and we just are able to share that message with the kids and thanks to our sponsors like HSBC we're here and so are these animals. Well you're bringing the animals to two BC schools today. Where will the Earth Rangers be? Well, we're going to be in Vancouver for seven weeks, and then we're traveling up north, and then we're going to Alberta. So we're about two months of travel uh, and visiting schools, two schools every single day. <laughs> Beautiful. EarthRangers.com for all of the details to find out uh, how you can get uh, this group at a school near you. Julia, thanks so much. Sam, thanks so much. Thank and a beautiful, beautiful bird right here.